Hello, this is Marilyn Schleppi and this is the video about dynamisms. In previous videos we had a look at the factors that are at the core of the theory of positive disintegration and we also had a look at the levels. Now we're going to talk about dynamisms. They are feelings or processes and we're going to focus on the dynamisms of level three and above. So the dynamisms are kind of feelings or processes that are quite prevalent at any one level, but you might remember from the other videos that the levels in that theory are not necessarily sequential. That means we don't go necessarily from one to two to two to three and so on. And in my experience to identify where you might be or where somebody you'd like to help might be, the dynamisms are very helpful. So for example, feelings or processes that basically underpin how the person might be feeling and acting when they are at this level. Now we're going to go and really look at what that means. Dynamisms basically lead to self-transformation. They allow the person to perceive and evaluate the world and others and also themselves in a critical way. And at level three, the person can really tell what is and what should be. And that makes a hierarchy um, in, in how they think about the world. And so they might end up being maladjusted to society or certain circumstances. But in actual fact, the theory says that it's a positive thing because they realize what should be and what is and it's not the same but they might feel shame or guilt because of that because they will not be acting or thinking along the same lines as others they might also find themselves astonished with their be own behavior and um, they might be astonished in a good way if they manage to see the lower path that they might have taken in the in the past and the higher path towards their better self and when they manage to take that higher path they might be quite pleased with themselves but they might also worry and feel inferior to others because they're struggling with those things and basically be dissatisfied with themselves and so when they um, uh, mature and maybe step out of disintegration at level four people will have more self-awareness and self-control they're going to be able to act more consistently um, in a way that um, reflects their value of their higher self the third factor which is the factor of um, having the a strong um, motivation to become a better person is uh, very strong at level four and they are able to see themselves um, as an object and see themselves acting one way or another. That actually starts at level three probably, but even um, at level four, it's um, much more pronounced. And uh, at level four and five, there's a lot of education of oneself. They're able to basically under auto psychotherapy, they're very autonomous and authentic and they're not only responsible for themselves but also for others and they have basically inside them a directing center that coordinates all the efforts towards becoming the best possible version of themselves. Now that you know what dynamisms are present at level three, four and five, you might find that they give a clue to where you're at, for example, or where maybe somebody that you're trying to help is at. And um, you might remember that the theory says that somebody who disintegrates, for example, has anxiety or depression, is actually a sign that they are traveling towards their personality ideal. And the dynamisms might give you a clue that this is in fact happening. 
In summary, today we've looked at dynamisms and we focused on the dynamisms of level 3, 4 and 5. But there are other dynamisms also at level 1 and 2. And if that is of interest, you might like to go and read the original work of Dabrowski to find out more. In summary, the dynamisms are basically giving you some clues as to where the person or yourself might be at in the level of the theory of positive disintegration. In the next video, I'm going to give you my personal opinion as to how you can use the theory of positive disintegration to help yourself or help others and um, how it really offers a unique view on mental health that is really uh, not portrayed in any other theory at least that I know of. So I hope you'll join us for that one as well. This is Marilee Schleppi. I would like to encourage you to read the article on positive disintegration in frontiers in psychology. You can find the link underneath in the description of the video and I look forward to seeing you for our last video on the theory of positive disintegration.